Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Game Esoteric and our continuing series on the Mr. FPGA DE10 Nano Board. I had a lot of questions about different video settings and I always plan on going a little bit deeper into the options because trust me, the options are almost limitless with the Mr. as far as settings you can change are concerned. And while it looks amazing right out of the box after you set it up, if you use my previous video to set up, you'll have all these options. And there are some things we can change to make the image quality look even better. Some are just subjective and some are definitive. Before we get too far involved, if you give me a huge favor, go down below, hit like, subscribe, ring that notification bell, definitely helps us out. And if you feel so inclined, we got a Patreon link down there as well if you want to support the channel. But the thing with the Mister is, it gives you almost limitless control over what you want to change setting-wise. And what you need to know is, once you get to the main menu and go down to scripts, the INI file, you can make things better you can make them worse and you can just 100% break the configuration after reset your mister. What I always recommend is on your SD card, copy the last known good working INI file to your desktop or wherever else you want to keep it. That way when you're playing around, if you make a mistake, just copy it back onto the card and everything will be back to normal. You'll see here in the scripts, we have a ton of different options and I will go over some of the other ones in future videos if you guys want me to, but we wanna go down to INI settings. You'll see this is real time, it's gonna load up and we're gonna have a menu with all the different base value changes we can make to the INI or initialization file for the mister. But there's just a few that we want to look at because those are going to be the most important for getting the best quality out of the HDMI port. I will be doing a video in the future about analog video on CRTs and PVMs, but I want to make this just about HDMI because I feel like a lot of people are going to be starting there and some people may never actually go to a CRT or a PVM. But you'll see there's tons of options that we can change. What we want to focus on off the top is just the video mode. It has multiple options. Now I choose 1280 by 720 and that's because 720 scales extremely nicely integer wise to 4K. You can do 1920 by 1080 and you even have options to do 60 hertz or 50 hertz. Now with most modern TVs, even in European region, 60 hertz is an option so I wouldn't really recommend switching it to 50 hertz but that is again subjective if you remember playing pal games at 50 hertz you totally can do that and you have other options as well for different you know aspect ratio monitors i just prefer 720 i think it looks nice but this again is just a subjective option for you what i do not believe to be subjective though is going to be v scale mode and that is how the hdmi internal scaler is going to scale the native image from each core you use you're going to have four options scale to fit the screen height use integer scale only, a half step, or a quarter step. Half steps and quarter steps can give you shimmering and vertical scrolling, and scale to fit the screen height is going to stretch the image. Integer scale is going to be the most true version of what the original hardware would have done for the aspect ratio. You will see that we have black bars on the bottom and the top of the image, but the actual aspect ratio of this image is correct from the actual Game Boy Advance hardware. Now, if we go to fit the screen height, you will shortly see a lot of differences. But if you do want to change something, all you're going to do is select it, and then you're going to go ahead and hit save. It'll give you a warning on what it's doing and how to revert to a previous INI file if you have more than one on your card. But after about five seconds, it's going to reboot and you can play the game again. Now, if we move into the new version that scale to screen height, you'll see we have no black bars. But what we've done is we've changed the aspect ratio of the screen. Now, I'm a purist. That's because I went to film school and I've been working as a filmmaker for 18 years. Aspect ratio to me should never be changed. I'd rather play with black bars on the top and the bottom than I would have the image stretch the same way that you don't want to watch a 16 by 9 movie and 4 by 3 back from VHS days. But putting these images side by side, you're going to see right here on the left, we have the height fit. On the right, we have integer. And when we line up those two pillars, it is completely stretched. We have made the vertical resolution non-native, and I just think that looks a lot worse. Now, if you don't mind it, you can leave that option on, but I'd rather play with black bars on the top and the bottom of my screen. And when you first set your mister up, it is not set to integer scale. It is set to stretch to fit the height. Now on this display, it's not as bad on my capture device, but if I put it on my 4K TV, it cuts things off. And the last thing that I want is to be missing pixels or have the aspect ratio incorrect. You make your decision. I recommend integer scaling. But moving on, we do have some more options that will affect different things. When we go back to that INI mode, I'll kind of show you a little bit more of what we can do. For the V-Sync adjust, you have match display frequency, match core frequency, and low lag. 
the top one is going to match the frequency of whatever display you're using. I recommend that to start because if you get into a situation where the mister will not sync to your TV, you have to go to the INI settings without being able to see what you're doing. You can play around with this. I don't mind the one to two frames of lag. If I'm playing fighting games like Neo Geo, I'm doing it on a PVM. But additionally, outside of the INI menu, each of these cores is going to have different scale filters. You have internal, and that's just going to deal with the internal HDMI adapter from the Mister. But then we have custom. I recommend either SNES interpolation or interpolation sharp. Now it's really hard to see what this is doing, but to me, the internal scaler while extremely good is just a tiny bit too sharp in certain places. So I prefer either of those options that I just showed you. And like I said, I'm going to blow this up and show you a little bit closer in a little bit what it actually looks like. But there's so many different options in here. Internal, like I said, slightly sharp, but this sub menu is going to give you so many different variables to play with. And 90% of them are just going to look terrible to you and to me. But for the interpolation, either do SNES or do sharp. Those are the two that I think make 16-bit games look the best. And it's going to be, you know, display dependent too. Every display is different, so it's really hard to say what the best option for you is. You just need to play around and check it out. And the good thing about these options are that unlike the INI file where you can change settings and cause the mister not to work with your screen or not boot until you basically do a fresh installation or back up an INI file, you can play around with these filters to your heart's content and can't do anything quote unquote wrong. You can make the image look absolutely ugly, but all you do is push two buttons and you're right back to where you started from. So this is something that you can visually look at while you're changing it and see what those changes are. Because some make the image look slightly better. I really like the interpolation on this particular filter, but we can also turn on some filters that are just absolutely going to make this image look like garbage, and they might be useful in certain circumstances. But you'll see here Game Boy Color just puts this weird pattern over the screen. None of these look good, but maybe if you're playing a Game Boy game, they might be useful. This is just kind of where you get into the system and decide what it is you think looks best, and that again is subjective. I said the integer scaling is not subjective, I think you should keep that on, but what resolution you want to output at, what filters you want to use. There is no right or wrong answer. It's what looks good to you. I suggest the interpolation or the SNES interpolation, but you can do whatever you'd like. And like I said, this is hard to show you on a screen, especially with YouTube and the compression. What I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in really quickly up at that weapons energy text, and I'm going to switch between the internal filter and the custom filter. And you'll see that those letters ever so slightly change when we go from custom to internal, and when we go back from internal to custom. I just like the custom interpolation sharp option a bit better. Now, what I do not recommend, unless you know exactly what you're doing, is going into the advanced INI settings. I wouldn't even change them on the mister itself. I would open up the INI file in Notepad and Windows, and I would start manually changing the values from zero to one, one to zero, whatever I wanted. This exists in here. You can use a keyboard and change it, but one, this is really where you can screw things up, and two, if you do want to get into this option and you do want to change things, just use Notepad on a computer. But to re-articulate what I'm recommending is, as far as the video resolution is concerned, this is up to you. I prefer 1280 by 720 because on my Samsung 4K screen, that looks the best to my eyes. Your mileage may vary. As far as the vertical sync adjustments, you can choose whatever you'd like as well. I use match display frequency because I'm playing games that are sensitive to lag. I'm going to use my PVM with an analog signal because this isn't going to work for every single monitor. Your mileage may vary, but by all means, play around and decide what you like. But as far as the vertical scaling mode, I 100% highly recommend you use integer scaling because otherwise you are changing the native aspect ratio and resolution of whatever systems core you're using and you're going to end up with an image that is not correct. I'm really sensitive to that. You might not be, but I'm just giving you my recommendations. What we haven't touched on is any sort of analog video output. I'm going to be doing a separate video specifically talking about all the analog settings to the mister because the great thing about the analog IO board is you get this VGA port, but the thing is it's not a VGA port. It's just an analog out port. It might be using a VGA design, but we can reconfigure the pins on this to do whatever we want. But this is just about HDMI. We will do in the future a video on that analog output. 
But short of that, if you have any questions about these settings, leave them down below. I'm happy to chat with you guys. Otherwise, if you have any comments, again, I love talking. But I will be back in a couple weeks with my next video on the Mister, and we'll have videos on Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, and Tuesday as well. But again, I love this device, and I just want to help you guys set it up the best you can. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.